शाही दखनी अलादीन कुटुंबन लो अंतमंदी मगपिले ल मध्या वक्ते आड़पिले लगा पुटीना अलमास टॉम्बॉय लागे परिगिंदे वंटिंट लोकी ये टू रानी चेवर कालो अम्माइल की वंटर आवाली अन्न रूले लेदो कानी हैदराबादी रेस्टोरेंट बढ़ते ये जमाने की वड़िंस रमे कादो वंडरंग कोड़ा तिलियाले अलमास ताना वंटा रेस्टोरेंट कोसन नेट्स कुंडे बिजनेस चेसी चेतुल काल्स कुनी मरी नेट्स कुंडे आ नेट्स कुन्ने दी नालु एपिसोड लो मानो को टू कीगा चेप्पिंदे कानी विवरंगा वंडी मरी चूपिंचिंदे म what is cooking? Basically, what is cooking to me? Um, I didn't learn to cook when I was young or even when I got married because, as I said, cooking was not a part of the deal. But um, when I did grow up and when I started my own restaurant, I was forced into the circumstance of starting to cook. It was the first, first time that I started to cook was um, very raw. I hated it because I had to do it as a duty and had to do it because I needed to be there and cook. But as I got into it and I realized that the dishes taste amazing and Hyderabadi cooking has so much potential that one can just go on and on experimenting, making it real, making it presentable, uh, giving it that oom factor which a lot of other American, English, French cookings have. I'm going to tell you a story about how my grandmother told me about a fish, which is a pomfret fish, which used to be cooked in the zameen, that is under the soil. Patrani machi, leda zameen ki machi. O kapuru bhoomi lo goyi tovi bogulamida steam cook chese var. Kani almas. अरिटाव कुल मध्या मच्ची नी मन किचन लोने चेसकुने पद्धति कने पिट्टिंदी राचरिक पुरुचुलकी ग्यास्टो वन्टकम पद्धतिन नेरपिंचिंदी They used to do this in big parties in in the true way of cooking They used to take a leaf, a banana leaf First they used to mix all the ingredients that goes with it which I am going to show you a little later and they used to pack it up into a little parcel. They used to put, uh, they used to dig a little hole, put a lot of koila in it, burning hot coal. They used to put the pateki machi, and then they used to put koila on top and close, cover it up. This is how food used to be cooked in the olden days. They did did it how they knew best how to do it. Now today, if you tell me to go into my garden, dig a hole, put the koila in and then start cooking the fish, I think, you know, everyone around is going to wonder what the hell I'm doing. But I derived another method. I wanted you to get the taste of what I used to cherish in the olden days. Hence, I just tweaked it a bit. You can do the same thing in your kitchen, which I shall show you. पॉम्फ्रेट लेदा चंदुवा चेपतो चेस्तारू इपत्रानी मच्छी पत्ते की मच्छी This is banana leaves and I'll show you how to put this all together and it won't take too much time The only thing is the entire thing is based on the chutney which is basically कोतमीर आ पत्रानी मच्छी मीना ने कावल सिंधी दन चटनी है आ चटनी की मुंडु कावल सिंधी कोतमीरा। Half of that of पुदीना। कोतमीर की पुदीना आ कुल जाता चाहिए डाउन आ एक्स्ट्रा पिंच लेदा पंच को समय। Fresh coconut। चटनी की पच्ची को बरा शाही जाता। Zira, a bit of salt, green chilies, as per your taste, only garlic, little bit of water, and we make the chutney. Once the chutney is a little bit done, Pomfret samudran chepa. Dhani ke karivepa kanti te gani nealamidi karado. 
and lime. A nimmakaya ruchike. Before we started cooking, I had marinated the fish, that's pomfret machi. I had marinated with white pepper, haldi and namak. That's all you need to do. And you don't need to do it for more than an hour because pomfret has got a very thin skin. It's very soft. It breaks very easily. The chutney is done. Let's taste. Now for the final. These are banana leaves which are available everywhere, I'm sure. I take a whole banana leaf because I don't want the fish not to get everything into it. So all you do is keep your fish here. I take mundu a palm fruit fish ni pasupu miriyala podi uppu to marinate chase kovali. Turn your fish and a little bit of copra, kacha copra, which you've already done before for the chutney. Oka pedda arita kulo marinate chase na palm fruit ni unchi. Dani ke naalu guvai pula chutney ka pesi arita kuno muta kattali. Don't be scared. It makes a lot of noise all the time. Sometimes it tears. So just get a few more. Any twine will do. You can even do it with um, barbecue sticks, but sometimes uh, the banana leaf is pretty flimsy, so it's going to tear. That's going to become a problem. Just pack it really well so that it doesn't open out. Now, this is how my little parcels look. All I have to do now is to steam it. I've already started boiling the water. I haven't used any fancy steamer. This is basically just a um, sieve which you can put on any pot that you have. Put it on full, or a little less maybe. This fish will take nothing more than 10 minutes to do. So we put one. Shut the lid. And let's see what the Turn on your gas to a little bit more. Look at your clock. 10 minutes and you're through. Now the fish is completely ready, so we switch it off and ooh, that's hot. This is a slightly tough part where you have to get them both together. Now it's done. And now all we do is plate it. You don't need to do anything to it because it's pretty as it is. All we do is snip this so that your guests or so whoever's eating it and then get some pretty toothpicks. Steam in a palm fruit fish ni mundu toothpicks to guchite udikayo leda telustundi. Is you can get pretty ones but when you put the toothpick into the fish you as a chef would know if it's cooked or not otherwise you can at least take it back and put it for another minute or two, depending on how much you actually marinated it. Now this is how it looks. I think it's quite pretty. You need a small little fork. You get these also in the market. Eating with the hands is the best part of it, but you know, if some people are finicky, a small little fork will do because as I told you, the meat is really tender. Now the rest of the chutney which was left behind, I just put it into a katori. And I'm now going to open it for you. This is how your fish looks. Mess, which I don't think is a mess. It's like Picasso and his painting. So it's quite interesting. And under this is your fish, which together with, that's all you need to do, is just shave it off gently. Sanduva Chepaki, Manan Chasin Chetney, Inkindo Ledo Telescoval and Te, Fork To Kamuka Bite Chase the Ganitaledu. Voila, take a bite. Shahi fish name Wanda Mekad, Ruthisudan Kudaoka Kale. tell you about the story that I read uh, about the Nizam 
and how he had this anger brought about because his cooks were giving him a lot of problems and he decided that why shouldn't I just go into the kitchen and put in whatever I have to and I don't need to be dependent on cooks and they should know that you know I can do the job better than they can. So he went into the kitchen and whatever ingredients he found from pulses like dals to wheat to rice to egg to vegetables to uh, chicken to lamb anything that he could lay his hands on he put all these things together put a lot of ghee in it put a little bit of garam masala shut the pot after that it was called diwani handi aa tarvata item diwani shorba leda diwani handi ee vantakaniki sarigga vandellu swayanga nizam usman ali khan gar kanipettari vanta very good just imagine a dish you're eating which has lamb and chicken lots of vegetables pulses rice wheat everything together yeah it requires a taste bud but you can you know i think it'll be good so i've changed that a bit because when i used to fall sick plus i hated vegetables so in vanta manushul tho godav padi na ke chef lu vaddu nene vandestha ani nizam tana shahi kitchen lo kanipettina kichdi ye ee divani handi put it in my mouth and sit there for hours together as very naughty like that so she knew that i she had to give me something at least when i felt sick which was like a soothing um all meal together so she used to give me the soup which had rice which had chicken aa naati shahi bawar chilichina peri di raju gar chesina kichdi ki pichi handi ani navulata ki pettukunna peru kani ee pichi handi almas chesina paddhati chuste meeru dieting chestunna aakalagadu would make a good combination so i call it diwani shorba and i think it almas a diwani handi ki koncham shorba jatha chesaru shorba ante gravy e adi vaalla nayanamma gari kattasi diwani handi ki diwani shorba ani namakaranam chestundi almas so try it out and see how you like it దీవానీ హండి లేదా దీవానీ షోర్బాకి కావలసిన ఇంగ్రీడియంట్స్ ఒకసారి చూసుకోండి రాసుకోండి వెల్ దిస్ లుక్స్ రియలీ ఎలాబరేట్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ విత్ ఆల్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ది నిజాన్ హీ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇట్ నాట్ మీ అండ్ ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు గివ్ హిమ్ కంప్లీట్ క్లారిటీ ఇన్ వాట్ ఐ కెన్ డూ విత్ ఇట్ టు నౌ బిర్యానీ ఇస్ అ వెరీ కామన్ హిస్ వాస్ అ దీవానీ హండి విచ్ హీ డిడ్ వాట్ హీ డిడ్ with adding everything into it now i've just broken it up into two parts three parts actually one is the meat nizam usman ali gar srushtinchina vantakaniki tana vantu creativity jodinchindi almaz vantani moodu mukkalu chesindi modati di maamsam part aa kilo maamsam noonu lo veyiste paav kilo avutundi now this is rice which i have just kept in water for some time rendavadi rice bhagam water so i'll show you the whole process while doing it because they're going to be three poyi meeda chudandi moodu poyila gas stove meeda moodu vantalu saagutayi this is boiled meat and i've just simply shred it and in this i'm going to put some salt is just plain meat again as much as chili as you need but you need a little more on this because it's just not going to give you a kick otherwise పాయలు చేసిన బోన్లెస్ మటన్ లో కొంచెం ఉప్పు కారం వేసుకుని బాగా కలుపుకోవాలి అందులో కొంచెం కార్న్ ఫ్లోర్ వేస్తే కరకర క్యారెక్టర్ వస్తుంది మాంసానికి I'm going to put a lot of oil because we have to deep fry this. This is the only component which really needs to be fried. So it's a little bit of it, nothing much. And we'll put it on to we transfer it to another stove so that we are not waiting for this to cook and that to cook because it's three things to cook. There you go. Now while the oil gets really piping hot we keep this here 
Now we start with the rice again, which we'll transfer to the stove. In this, we basically go to zero again and we put butter. Biyan kosam pitti na ginne lo butter aara gimpu pettali. Never make the pan very hot for the uh, butter to melt because otherwise it gets that burnt flavor which you don't want. It's nearly done. I'm going to put shazira. Butter talim pulo mundu veyal sindi shazira. Palak juice which I ground and took. Tarva ta garam masala la vantu. O kokiti juice kondi tarjuma avsarame le. The akka garam masalas. There is a bit of long, a bit of lychee, pepper, dalcini, and tej patta. Basically, you need half these ingredients for the shorba. We don't put um, any salt in the rice because the curry, I mean the shorba, is going to basically take care of it. Now it's all crackled, and I'm going to put the rice in. పోపు కొంచెం పటపటమన్న తర్వాత నానబెట్టిన బియ్యం అందులోకి సమర్పించుకోవాలి ఆ తర్వాత వేయాల్సిన చాలా ముఖ్యమైన ఇంగ్రీడియంట్ పాలకూర రసం అది ఇదివరకే చేసి పెట్టుకుంది dark green looks like leaf and then we just add water and we transfer it there so it's nice and green it look really pretty i'm giving you exotic colors poyilu marchatam burner lanu takkuva ekkuva cheskodanlo almaz vanta style kanapadutundi put it on full till it boils and then we we'll simmer it because i'm not going to take out the water from it because it has all the nutrients of palak and now the oil is ready so i put it on a lower flame and there we go oil marigindi indulo aa mutton mukkalanu veyinchadam maro ankam vantintlo vanta chestunnappudu aa sound lu jihvaku vinasumpuga untayi just a bit of moving up and down moment okay now i don't want to do this in a high flame lower the flame completely and now we start the last dish which is the shorba divani shorba chivari ankam shorba tayar cheskodu in this i don't want to use um oil and that's my butter and a wee bit of ghee just for texture on a low flame again dani kuda venna neyi talimpe maamulu moghalai masala le now this has started boiling completely so we just shutting it okay while this is getting done but it gets done very fast so if you putting anything with it you should do it immediately so there's a little bit of long dalchini tej patta and a bit of peppercorn and obviously lychee shazira again here it it's already nearly done so we just need that to crackle just a bit again i put more of garlic than of ginger a wee bit of turmeric haldi haldi in all your food is really good because it can it's a medicinal property then we go with garam masala powder we go with white pepper here oka vaipu palakuru juice lo annam udukutundi maro vaipu mutton vegutundi almaz shorba tayari lo busy ga undi now we take the chicken which again i marinated with haldi and white pepper and a bit of salt మసాలా బేస్ తయారు చేసుకుని అందులో చికెన్ కాళ్ళని ప్రవేశపెడితే షోర్బా తై తక్కలాడుతుంది చికెన్ కాళ్ళు కూడా పసుపు మిరప్పొడితో మ్యారినేట్ అయ్యాయి అభ్యంగనం అన్నమాట అప్పుడు క్యారెట్ ముక్కలు స్వీట్ కార్న్ గింజలు మిరపకాయలు ఆ షోర్బాకి యాడ్ చేయండి 
green chilies as whole. Don't chop them. And peas. Saute all of it just a bit. Not too much. Now we put in the curd and the coconut milk. Perugu kobari pala di e shorba lo jata. Utakuta lo jata. You can use the same quantity, you can use less or more, it all depends on you. But I would suggest both the same quantity. So you've got a lot of vegetables. You've got your chicken. And just put pudina, not kotmir. Cook in a shorba lo pudina nazakat final touch. Now let this cook. Let's check our rice. Moodu poyilamida moodu purtika ready hai. All three are cooking. Shorba, mutton, rice. The complicated stuff is finally over, and I have taken it all off. Now this, the goshka save basically. Um, I took it off. Once you finish frying it, and you take it, put it onto a sweat cloth. Then the rice. I didn't strain it. Nothing. I just gave it dum and it's ready in that because I want to plate it in a very nice fashion, maybe pretty. Now I've taken out the tang from the curry which is already made, the shorba. And we just do a little thing fancy which is just basically aluminium foil. Cover each tang. And I boiled an egg. You can boil one, two, three, whatever you like. This is spring onions, just the back. This is coriander. So now we take the rice. You can call it a wardrobe malfunction. And then I do that. The center. Chefs are allowed to be nervous in the kitchen. But dinchravante mukhyamayne di plating kala. Andulo almas di andevesne chayi. You don't need to put. The chilies, which we had put inside, you just have to basically put the sharba. Now we go, and that's it. Okay, don't crumble on me. We put a little bit of coriander on the outside. That's kotmir. Okay. Now we arrange the chicken like this. Mmm, Dawat Kanni ready. Background lo almas anglan lo tanavantami the running commentary. Okay. Then the goshka save goes on top of the rice and the boiled egg that I have goes right on top. This goes on top of the chicken. This is basically spring onions. शाही दख